Julian Assange uh, had a, a certain week. Uh, so yesterday, a UK judge blocked his extradition to the US. Uh, and again, just so you know, Julian Assange is being persecuted by the U.S. because 10 years ago, he exposed a bunch of war crimes by the U.S. government. And then the Obama administration, uh, Obama administration tried to uh, prosecute him, but they had to eventually drop it because they knew that all they were doing was taking away the rights of a journalist who was just doing his job um, and reporting the news about the government using our tax dollars and uh, uh, to commit war crimes. That's what he did. Uh, and um, so they, they, the UK judge said essentially that uh, she wasn't going to let him come to the US because uh, he was in a bad mental state and that um, the US prison system is so bad, so barbaric, so bizarre that she felt that him being in total isolation and how bad the prison system is here in the U.S., the U.S. prison system, that she basically she felt, oh, well, I can't send him there because he's just going to die before he's even prosecuted because he's just going to commit suicide there. Notice that she's not talking about, oh, I don't want to send him to the U.S. because they're prosecuting him for the wrong shit. They're torturing a journalist for exposing war crimes. But nope, the UK government is cooperating with the US and be like, yep, absolutely, absolutely. He needs to go to jail. He needs to be prosecuted for exposing war crimes. I wonder what the UK has to hide. That the UK judge just didn't go, nope, I'm going to dismiss this case. Julian Assange is free to go. Fuck this. You guys are stupid. Nope. And then where's the Australian government? Where he's from? Total silence on the part of the Australian government. Where's the Australian government? Or are they themselves helping to cover up the U.S.'s war crimes? Or are they themselves committing war crimes? That's what I want to know. Are they themselves committing war crimes in Australia and Great Britain that they can't say, they can't see through the bullshit that the U.S. is, is, is propagating? Because, folks, here's what's going on. Julian Assange is exposing war crimes of the U.S. government, and I've done a few videos on it, um, and yet... The U.S. wants to prosecute him and they're torturing him in the U.K. because he exposed those war crimes. That's freedom of speech and freedom of the press that the First Amendment covers. That the First Amendment says you have the right to cover this because you're a journalist, because you're in the press. But now... Actively saying, no, you don't have the right to do that. And if you do, we're going to prosecute you to the full, fullest extent of the law. And we're going to make up crap and say that you did it, even though you didn't, because we want you to be in jail because you're exposing our war crimes. Julian Assange needs to be freed and pardoned by Donald Trump. Instead of pardoning war criminals that committed horrible war crimes and were sentenced to prison for it, he should be pardoning heroes who expo expose the government for the horrible crap they pull. This is what's going on. So, your freedom, your Julian Assange's freedom is your freedom. Because if the U.S. gets their way and he's prosecuted... Guess what? As a journalist, anyone in journalism knows you cannot do anything. You cannot post anything about the government. You cannot report on anything sufficient. And you're just going to have to uh, spread Russia propaganda. Russia gate. Like the Young Turks does. Saying, oh, and by the way, those of you who think, oh, well, 
uh, I don't know if I can trust Julian Assange as a journalist. Why? And no, he's not picking a political side. Another argument is, oh, well, maybe he's picking a political side and selecting what kind of content to put out. No, he's not. He's reported on Republicans and Democrats. And by the way, WikiLeaks, his organization that he founded, has a 100% track rate. A 100% record of accuracy. They've had to take zero stories back. Zero. And the mainstream media has had to take dozens back. So Julian Assange needs to be freed. This is borderline torture. Borderline torture. And this needs to end right now. 